Alright folks, I'm about to show y'all how I edge myself up. First, you slide your bonnet back. After sliding said bonnet back, you take the brush, soft. Brush out the hair that you know you're gonna trim. Make sure you don't brush some shit out that you don't wanna cut. That would be a big mistake. It took me a while to learn. I can't think of how long exactly it took me to learn. But it took a while. Oh, these are for the people that don't use clippers. The guard, obviously, or if you don't shave or know anything about clippers whatsoever, but the guard obviously stops you from cutting as low as possible. So it stops it at a certain length. And you start fucking shaving. I mean, that doesn't mean I don't mess up. It just means I'm confident about fixing my fucking mistakes. <laughs> See how it looks all scraggly and shit? What? What are you doing, bro? Like, why is your hair like that? Shake the majors off. Shake the majors off. Hey. Okay, so a lot of you guys are unsure on how to count your macros. I did a video about it before. Um, I'll try to remember to put the link in the description. But either way, we're about to go over it again right now because I'm about to do it. It's going to be a little bit more in depth. So here we go. So counting macros. All right. So today I'm getting 250 grams of carbs. That's what we're going to start with, okay? So normally I'd make oatmeal, but today I kind of want some cereal. So this is how we know. All right, so we got 250 grams of carbs. Let's pull up the little calculator. So we're looking at 250 carbs divided by, let's say, five meals. You're at about 50 grams of carbs per meal. That's if I want to eat five meals today. This is just like a rough estimate to start my day. Um, okay? So, boom. Now we're looking at the box. Zoom in, focus. So, total carbohydrates. Four... Come on, focus. 46. What the fuck? Okay. 46 grams of carbs per cup of cereal. So, I only need 50 carbs. So now, I'm going to take this box. I'm going to pour this cereal into this measuring cup, which this is a cup. I just washed it. That's what the water's for. Okay. So, pour that in here and then pour that in here. Go. So now, we know that. So now we know we're going to use milk as well. So you got to look at the milk and see what the nutrients are. So on the milk, I'm looking at it. I have 8 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs per cup, okay? 8 grams of protein. So you calculate all that into your macros. Now today, I'm pretty sure my, mac my fat is kind of high. I have total fat of, let's see... So, 40 grams of fat today. So, I'll be fine. That's plenty. Because I'm going to eat chicken and rice all day. So, since I know I'm going to eat chicken and rice all day, I'm good. Yes, I spilled all this. Normally, I wouldn't measure it exactly. I pretty much know how much a cup is. But for the sake of you guys, I'm measuring. Okay? So, here you go. Hopefully, I don't spill this shit because I'm using one hand. Alright, cool. You make a cup. Boom. As you can see, I like to get that motherfucker to the edge because I want all the cereal milk I can have. Bam. Pour that up in there. Put it in that thing. There you go. Cereal milk. Now, you got your macros. You log it into your fitness pal. You subtract. Now, on to your protein. This is my protein. I already have my protein shake entered into my fitness pal. Same thing. You look at the nutrition facts. You look at carbs, protein, and fats, calculate those up for two scoops, put it in your pal, it'll tell you where you're at for the day, you should have already divided all your stuff up for the day, and 
you get cracking. Now all you gotta do is eat the shit. You see what I'm saying? So that's how you count macros. And the more frequently that you do it, the easier you'll be, the better you'll be at it. So like I can already estimate how much is a cup of oatmeal, how much is a cup of cereal, how much is two scoops of protein. I got my frequent foods in my Fit Pal, so I'm just cranking them out. I got my Chipotle, I got this, I even got cheat meals stored, I got donuts and this and that. So like the more that you do it, the easier that it'll be, but in the beginning it's going to be a struggle. That's it. Plain and simple, how to count your macros. So my first meal is 50 grams of carbs, actually like 58 grams of carbs with the milk. Um, there's no carbs in, there's two carbs in my protein, whatever, 60, and we're looking at 60 grams of protein. Plain and simple. Okay, now let me eat for my cereal and sake. Hey, we back on live. Y'all know we do this here. Live, say what's up to the vlog. Vlog, say what's up to the live. What's good, e fam? Y'all already know what's up. Tuning in just to kind of run y'all through what happened. The photo shoot, everything. It was it was awesome. It wasn't my first photo shoot, but um, I haven't done one in a long time, so it was it was a lot of fun. So we just kind of like showed y'all little clips. Um, I, I have a new cameraman, as you guys are about to see. He kind of fucked up. <laughs> what he did was three, two, one. He busted his fucking ass. <laughs> he dropped my camera. Like, he fell, the camera flew, and was fucking bouncing like a damn basketball off the weights, off the machines. I was like, oh my god, my camera's gone. Like, oh my god. Luckily, by the grace of God, the camera was okay. He was okay. You notice how I said that second. No, I'm playing. <laughs> my camera was good. So whatever he's a cool guy um we're working out a situation hopefully he'll be my full-time cameraman and three videos a week where i can actually have somebody recording me which will help me out so much especially with this new series which i'll see i've been lacking but it's just hard as fuck but anyways you saw the point photo shoot uh what i was doing was i was getting a quick pump obviously for the photos you want to get a quick pump um so you can look good you know who the hell wants to take photos with no pump <laughs> So, you can look back at the exercises that I did. It was a lot of supersets, a lot of drop sets and stuff like that. So, that'd be something that you could do backstage before your show or even just incorporate into your workouts. But uh, aside from that, man, um, this is Jason is a photographer and uh, he's basically just telling me what to do. Um, kind of just floating off of ideas that he had and stuff like that. And if I had any, but I didn't really have any. I was just kind of, as you can see, being me, acting goofy. Which is, uh, I feel like that's a really important part to bring with you to photo shoots and stuff like this is bring your personality, bring who you are, you know what I'm saying? Like, whether it's acting or any anything like this, make sure you bring who you are. Like, um, we didn't get any silly photos, um, cause this is like his photo shoot or whatever, so, um, but I'm sure in the future, like, in my life, I would love to have more of my personality in some of these photos, uh, just... You know, smiling, laughing, playing around, being a little goofy because y'all know how I do. Um, but it was great, man. A lot of the photos turned out really good. As y'all see, I might insert some throughout the video. Um, but that was the hardest or most intense ab workout I've ever had. Flexing, sucking in, holding it tight for like however long the shoot was, like two hours. Oh my God, I'm still sore. And that was like two days ago. Like, damn, if you ever want to get a great ab workout just flex for a long period of time essentially that's all you do at the gym anyways is contracting and releasing contracting and releasing so if you just contract and release all day you're gonna be shredded as fuck or not shredded but you gonna have some thick abs so um it was cool man and then uh i had to hold the weights a lot <laughs> and just like freeze and pause and just squeeze and flex and flex and it definitely was draining, it was tiring. He had to keep reminding me to get water so I didn't like pass the fuck out. And you gotta remember to breathe. That's another thing that you kinda gotta do, is take a breath. <laughs> so, um, but it was really good. I remember my first photo shoot, I was so, I felt so awkward and uncomfortable and I didn't know how to really like have a personality in front of the camera, but YouTube 
um, for one, doing multiple photo shoot photo shoots, and YouTube has really helped me. Like, this is I was talking about dudes' music, <laughs> but YouTube has really helped me. Like, just be comfortable in any situation. Like, I get on live Instagram live all the time at the gym, record while I'm next to somebody. Like, it really makes you like forget all that kind of stuff, which I think is great. I think it's a great tool to build confidence and. So, once again, you're about to see this is me being me. <laughs> so, yeah, man, you just got to have fun in this life. Um, it was great, though. Really great experience, man. Jason's a great guy. If you need photo shoots in Houston, hit him up. I included his Instagram. Um, and he had the edits back to me the next day, which is very rare. Like, most of the time, photographers wait months before you finally get some photos back. And it's usually, like, two. And you usually don't get to pick which ones they were. They usually give you whatever the fuck they give you. So... Um, yeah, he actually let me pick some of them, and I'm playing and dabbling in a little posing, you know what I'm saying, I gotta get stage ready, um, I don't post a lot about my posing, which Dimitri asked, that's one of the guys that follow me, he's my homie, look, wait, wait, hold up, speaking of having fun, this is me doing a salsa millie rock, <laughs> Just so y'all know, I, I can get the Hispanic girls, I can get the black girls, I can get the white girls, no, I'm just playing, um, Shit, but I hit that Millie Rock nose. <laughs> just whatever, fuck it, have fun with the shit. You just gotta have fun with it, bruh. And uh, that's what we did all day. <laughs> Pretty much just have fun. And uh, like I said, it was great, great experience. This is still my year, E fam. We still taking over, we still doing the damn thing. So appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Appreciate y'all for just. You know, sending me the positive snaps, Insta snaps, DMs, everything. I appreciate y'all. I got something good coming soon. Oh, this is Jason's shirt, his brain. Uh, so, fuck with that too. Those are some of the edits. But, got something coming soon for y'all within the next eight days. So, stay tuned. Like, share, and subscribe. Eat every day. We taking over, baby. Let's go.